Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to the strange statue puzzle So I want to bring up my map and I want to show you guys exactly where this is at because it can be a little bit tough to find um, So basically it's actually like right in this area You'll be able to see the crevice and we'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can get a really good look I was based off the eye and I was searching all down through around here But when you actually look around and really identify on the map you get a little bit closer and right in this area So about where the road comes and meets here right up in here is where you'll find the entry to the cave so step one you got to search for a crevice in the granite inside and it's actually like it can kind of fool you like you don't really think this is an entry to anything but if you look real close you can see that entry here we are here are seven male statues and in the center is a woman with eagle wings we need to go ahead and inspect this landmark all right, so after you went ahead and inspected it, you will notice that each one of these statues, you can tell on the bottom there, have buttons on them. And once you press the button, it'll disappear and come out on the other side, in which you can actually press again. We have to identify which buttons we actually need to press. The unique thing about these statues is, if you notice, they all have a different amount of fingers. This is our first clue. If we go around the room and we count them, they're actually as followed. Two, four, five, eight, three, four, and six. Now we need to head over to another location to identify the painting for the next clue. All right, guys, it is worth noting that when you get up in these regions, it is a little bit colder, so make sure you put a winter jacket on if you're leaving from the south side. Um, and I just wanted to tell you guys, it's actually mu much faster. You can set a waypoint, but if you just go down here and follow the railroad tracks, you'll pretty much run right into it. This rock is actually right in the O. So we're at Window Rock, which is just a little bit to the west of where we were. Um, here you can see the cave painting under the large rock. And now we want to go ahead and inspect this just so Arthur can mark it down in his journal. Each figure has an eagle next to him. And every one of those has a unique amount of feathers. After counting all the feathers, you will end up with a combination of two, seven, five, eight, three, four, and six. And these are the same numbers we identified earlier with one exception, a seven in place of the four. So we're back in the puzzle room. There are two figures with four fingers, one that is fine, but the other one is missing a hand. If you explore the cave a little bit, you will find the hand on the ground next to a few rocks to the left when you enter the cave. And that hand features three fingers, which now gives us that seven that we needed. As you can see right there on the ground laying by the rocks, there's a hand right there with three fingers, which gives us that number seven that we needed. Now, how exactly do we know which statues need the buttons pressed and which to leave alone? And the clue is prime numbers. The prime numbers that are featured here are as followed, two, three, five, and seven. With all of these activated, then we'll be able to check inside the pedestal. So those statues are as followed. When you walk in the cave, the first statue, which is gonna be number two, we're gonna go ahead and push that button. Then we go ahead and we skip one, and this one is five. So we go ahead and we're gonna press that button. All right, and our next statue, we're gonna go ahead and skip another one, and this one is going to be number three. This time we don't skip any, and this is our final one, number seven. And you guys heard that little bit of a noise. And if you look right there, there is a amount of three gold bars. And that's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching.